I've got three simple words for you for this video today. Stop taking outages. Simple as that. Probably the last decade or so now, Oracle have been doing a lot of work on removing the need to take your systems away from people. And a lot of us as DBAs probably haven't kept up with these evolutions. And as a result, whenever we come to do some sort of maintenance, we inevitably say, yep, okay, because we're doing this, that, or the other, we need to take everything down. And obviously that causes frustration for customers. Here is the time-honored way of moving a data file to a different storage. First thing you do is you take your table space offline, and then you do an OS level move or use ASM to move that file around. And then you tell the database that you've moved that data file around, and then you turn your table space back online. It's easy to do, but while you're doing that, that table space obviously is inaccessible to customers and applications. Let's look at what you should be doing nowadays. First of all, don't take that table space offline. Second, don't do anything on the OS level. We don't want to be doing that, especially in the era of cloud. And as a result, if you never took the table space offline, you don't have to bring it back online either. All you really need to do is change the keyword. When you move a data file, the database will take care of copying the contents over while tracking the changes, making sure everything's in sync before dropping the original version. A move becomes a copy and delete, but therefore no interruption to service to customers. Let's say you've been reading about all the data breaches and hacks that go on nowadays on IT systems and you've decided to say, yep, whatever happens, I'm gonna make sure all my data is encrypted. So you might be looking at transparent data encryption. It often comes as a surprise to people that just because an Oracle data file is a proprietary format, that doesn't mean the data is encrypted at rest. Let's say I create a table here called My Important Stuff, and it's got some credit card details in it. Rest assured, that's not my real credit card number. So I put that in there. If someone comes along and manages to grab a copy of your data file, whether it's from a backup or some external source, you can see if you run a strings command on there, yes, there's some binary data which indicates metadata in the data file, but once again, you can still see plain as day my name and my credit card details. That information is readily available. So transparent data encryption guarantees the fact that if someone steals your data while it's at rest, whether it's from an offsite backup or some, for example, third party vendor that wasn't as secure as you, then you're still going to be protected. In the past, you might've had to do that as an offline operation, but no longer. First of all, I set up my transparent data encryption keys in the normal way, and then this is how it works in an online mode. There's my existing user's table space, and I simply do alter table space. I'm gonna encrypt it online, nominate my keys and my uh, encryption algorithm, and the database will take care of it. The file name convert, make sure I'm once again copying the data to a new data file, encrypting it as we go with no interruption to services. Now when I run my strings command, because someone managed to steal a copy of my data files, the data is encrypted and therefore safe. As I said, our aim is that you can do just about any kind of maintenance activity online. For example, a simple heap table. I've created a table here, it's just a copy of DBA objects with an index on it, and then obviously people do DML in other sessions. But that's no longer a blocker to doing maintenance. What if I want to move that table? I can literally do alter table move online. That commences the operation of moving. When the other sessions that currently have transactions finally commit, then I will grab those changes, apply them to the move table, and therefore my table is moved, the operation completes, no interruption to services, and the index stayed valid the entire time. Once again, just because you're moving a table nowadays, you don't need to take the system away from people. Even composite operations, let's say I want to take a table, I want to move it, I want to compress it, I want to take, for example, its existing indexes and maybe put them into different table spaces, that all just works and can be done online as well. What if I want to remove some older data and my table is not partitioned? I can do the same thing. Alter table, move online, and then I add this new clause including a certain date range in this particular case. But as long as I can specify as a set of predicates, I can choose which data I want to move over and which data I want to discard, all can be done online. Even major structural changes to a table can be done online. I might have a table that's getting larger and larger and larger, and I want to maybe move it to become partitioned to make maintenance easier. I can do that with a single command as well. Let's create a table here, it's what is it, 20 copies of DBA objects, that's sufficiently large, 
and I'll create a couple of indexes on that table as well. So a typical table that's growing over time, it's got a few indexes on it. I want to now do a whole suite of maintenance operations to make it into a partition table. You don't have to take the system away from people. I do alter table T modify. I'm going to define partitions for it. And in this case, I'm going to partition with an interval range partition. So, you know, fairly complicated partitioning scheme here. And one of those partitions, for example, the first one here, I want to compress it because perhaps it's old data. Also, while I'm doing this, while I'm converting from non-partition to partitioned, I want to update the indexes. And the first index that was this, it was already existing. I'm going to move that to become a local index in a new table space. The existing other index, I'm going to globally partition on a brand new partitioning regime, once again into a different table space. By the way, while I'm doing this, I'm going to archive some of the older rows. I'm going to discard some of the older rows as well. And I'm going to do the whole operation online. And it just works. I've been trying really hard to actually break this facility. And you have to come up with very, very niche style operations in order to not be able to do them online. Granted, we're not 100% of the way there yet. There are certain scenarios where you can't do them online, but the vast majority can now be done online. Another example of pretty much going from any table to any table, I might have an existing partition table. In this case, it's got 16 hash partitions, and this may be a legacy of an old system which didn't used to have list partitioning, so I used hashing to try uh, partition by owner. Well, now that list partitioning is around, I might choose to modify that table to become a list partition table. And I simply do alter table modify partition by list. I'll choose automatic, so it automatically generates my partitions for me. I do the whole thing online, pick up the indexes as well, and it just works. No interruption to user services. My motto to you is when you're doing an operation of maintenance, just throw the online keyword in there and see what happens. When in doubt, try online. Otherwise, if it can't be done, the database will tell you, but if it can, then you've had a win there. You don't have to take the system away from people. Which brings me back to those three keywords, stop taking outages.